did you find this? The man behind the counter seemed very intrigued with the cross that Joe had handed him to examine. Uh, well, we'd rather not really say. Joe had looked at Dom for confirmation that he would not talk. Hmm, maybe I should pull out the big books and price check this thing. The man behind the counter looked at Joe as he said this. Sure, if that's what it takes to see how much it's worth. Joe was all for it. The man behind the counter left the room to go get the book he spoke of. Joe turned to Dom with excitement pouring from his brains. Did you hear that? Dom looked at Joe as if he had lost his mind. Joe, he's going to rip us off. That book is probably wholesale, dude. Joel rolled his eyes at Dom. Man, Dom, it's not a rip-off if he gives us enough. What did we have before we found that wretched thing? Dom shook his head and looked down at the floor, thinking to himself. Okay, if it's enough, I'll be okay with it. The man came back into the room and stood behind the counter once again. Okay, boys, I have searched through this thing as he placed a, the large book on the counter in front of them, and the only thing I can find that even remotely resembles this cross is this one right here. He pointed to what looked to be an identical replica. So, what you're saying is that this cross here is worth that much? Joe pointed from his cross to the one in the book, and then at the price tag. Somewhat... I would say maybe more, maybe less. Joe looked at Dom, who truly looked dumbfounded, and then he looked back at the man behind the counter and placed his whole attention on that man and their conversation. Okay, so what's your offer? Joe looked at him as if he had only one chance to get the offer right. The man let out a deep breath and shook his head. I don't even know if I can make an offer, son. Joe shook his head as if he hadn't heard the man correctly. What? Son, this cross is probably worth more than I can even borrow. But I do have a friend who could afford it. If you give me just one minute, I'll let you know if you have a sale. Joe and Dom agreed to wait. Joe decided to look around the little store while he waited. Look at this! Joe motioned for Dom to come where he stood. Joe had his eye on another cross necklace. Not quite as extravagant as the cross they had found, but pretty nice indeed. He wants ten thousand dollars for this one, Dom. That means ours is worth more than that. You think? Dom's eyes were wide, and he almost looked as though he were drooling. Positive! Joe whispered loudly. Okay, boys, I've got a one-time deal for you. The old man had come back into the room just in time. Lay it on us, dude. Joe was ecstatic. Okay, the guy I talked to says he'll give you $25,000 for the cross, but he doesn't want anyone seeing his face. Why is that? Dom looked suspiciously at the old man. Well, he's just a funny guy like that, really. Believe me, I really haven't seen him more than once myself.